Today I'll be talking about our paper, General Multilabel Image Classification with Transformers. This is joint work with Tian Lu Wang, Vicente Ordonez, and Yan Jun Chi. In this work, we focus on the task of multilabel image classification, where there can be multiple labels present in an image. Now, most image classifiers predict the set of labels given only the image as input. However, in many cases, some of the labels may be known prior to performing any visual recognition. So for example, I might know that there is a raincoat in this image. And knowing some of these labels may change the probabilities of the unknown labels. So if I do know that there's a raincoat in this image, then it's likely that there's an umbrella, and it's unlikely that there are sunglasses. The key thing here is that certain labels can be known prior to feeding any input to a classifier, and we want to leverage this known information during inference for improved accuracy. So we argue this is a realistic setting in many domains. For example, social media posts have hashtags or geolocations, and news images have captions. So as long as we can map these annotations to a label from our set of possible labels, we can use them to make more accurate predictions on all the other labels. So in this work, we propose the classification transformer, which is a general framework for multi-label image classification that leverages transformers to exploit the complex dependencies among visual features and labels. So our approach consists of visual features from a convolutional neural network, learn label embeddings to represent all possible labels, and state embeddings to denote whether a label is unknown, a known positive, or a known negative prior to inference. A transformer encoder is then used to model the interactions between the labels and image features and predict the set of unknown or masked labels. So during inference, we do want to model all possible arbitrary subsets of known labels. So to do this, we train the model by randomly sampling a random amount of labels as known during training, which are set to their ground truth state embedding value, and then we predict the remaining unknown labels. So during each training iteration, a new subset of the labels are masked out and predicted given the image and the known labels. So this framework allows us to use the model in three different inference settings. The first being the regular or traditional multi-label setting where we assume no labels are known and we want to predict all possible labels. The second is where we know some labels prior to inference and we want to predict the unknown labels. And the third is an extension of the second where we assume there's an extra set of labels that we can leverage. Now in all three of these settings, the model is trained the same way. So we first demonstrate our model in the regular inference setting where no labels are known. Our method achieves state-of-the-art results on both the COCO and visual genome datasets. And the second inference setting is what motivated this type of model, where we know certain labels prior to prediction. So here's an example in this setting where we first show the predictions of ResNet and our method without incorporating partial labels is known. So these baseline methods do not correctly predict that there's a spoon or a bowl in this image. But if we tell the model that there's a spoon in the image, which is up at the top left corner, then it can correctly predict that there's a bowl in the image. The third inference setting is similar to the previous where we have a set of potentially known extra labels. So these extra labels aren't ones that we necessarily want to predict, but we can use to help classify the target labels if they're available. So for example, if we're interested in predicting the bird species given an image of a bird, we may also have extra labels such as the wing color or the beak length. So here's an example where the original prediction was incorrectly predicted as the Rufus hummingbird. But if we say that we know it has certain features, such as a needle-shaped bill, then it can correctly predict the Anna Hummingbird class. So the two main use cases of this model are intervention and counterfactual testing. So in model intervention, we tell the model that we know the bird, for example, has a blue tail, and we ask it to predict the species. And in counterfactual testing, we ask, what kind of species would this be if it had a green tail? So the main contributions of this work are that we introduce a flexible model for multi-label image classification under arbitrary subsets of extra or partial labels. And we show that this method is accurate on six different data sets across three different inference settings. Our proposed method allows for users to interact with the model and intervene or test counterfactuals. So with that, I want to thank my collaborators and our code is available on GitHub.